Mr. Atik Lal and, uh, and family and community members of Naulu Nakasi, invited guest members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, Bulavinaka, and a very good evening to all of you. Um, it's my pleasure to be here today to officiate uh, the opening of what can be looked on as an achievement uh, of, a, of a budding business owner. Firstly, I'd like to con congratulate Mr. Atik Lal uh, for establishing a fair trade liquor and groceries uh, store. In recent days, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, celebrated the accomplishment of uh, Fijians like Atik who have furthered the interest of establishing a small uh, business, whether it's a canteen or whether it's a co-working space or whether it's a barber shop. And what truly matters is your passion and dedication into making your dreams and aspirations become a reality. The Fijian government, ladies and gentlemen, encourages all Fijians to pursue their dreams through their skills and uh, development and become job creators rather than job seekers. And our vision has always centered around creating a brighter economic future for all. And we are gathered here today to support an entrepreneur uh, to create a future for himself and for his family, and most importantly, for his community. Ladies and gentlemen, as policymakers, our priority is to create a, a conducive and enabling business-friendly environment whether you are a, a major entrepreneur or a small business. But we do this through the access to finance and training measures and resources and business advisory and mentor services for the progressive development of promising uh, business proposals. We actually want businesses like Atik to grow and thrive. And in doing so, it actually helps in our recovery efforts. As you all know, the pandemic has not been easy for a lot of businesses. However, seeing entrepreneurs such as the TIC, this definitely showcases the enduring spirit of our aspiring business owners. And this is our true Fijian spirit. There are many things that we can learn from a TIC's journey as a gentleman from Reki Reki, who came to Suva in search of greater opportunities. And coming from a retail and merchandising background it takes years of experience uh, have progressed into this tangible business ready and waiting to open its, its doors to all of us that are gathered here today to Atik, your business venture will serve not only the people of this community but also those who will be visiting Naulu and I'm told the uh, operating hours of the fair trade liquor and groceries will be between 6 a.m. and 11 p.m. daily so it will create economic impetus within this close-knit community of Naulu, and I commend you for providing your community uh, with this service. As the minister responsible for, for creating sustainable growth of commerce and industry through innovative and sound policies uh, that lead to improved livelihoods for all Fijians, it is important for us to improve, continually fine-tune and refine our, our policies to make it pro-development and fit for current times. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we need enterprising young Fijians like Atik to encourage others to step into the area of starting a business. A business which is close to their heart and a business which is uh, for their family and for their community. And through such ventures, not only are you supporting the livelihoods, you're also motivating other young Fijians to contribute to the Fijian economy. And I want to personally say to you, you know, you've done really well and I hope, and as I've done with other young SMEs around the country, I hope you're a shining example to other young people here who are thinking of opening up their own businesses. So with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I once again congratulate Mr. Lal and his family on his new journey. And uh, to you all, please enjoy uh, the premises this evening. Uh, I'm sure as soon as it's open, he'll let you, let you know what's it's priced at what? I think there's some discounts today, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.